Hello everyone, welcome to Everything Arsenal and this is your latest transfer news. We are going to be talking about the players who are about to leave Arsenal, that's Nicolas Pepe and Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Obviously, we, as we were told, we need these players to depart for us to sign more players. So let's see what happens after this. First up, let's start with Nicolas Pepe. According to reports from David Onstein, OGC Nice reached agreement with Arsenal to sign Nicolas Pepe on season-long loan. No buy option. Still some work to do. Aim is to complete deal for 27-year-old winger in the coming days. Arsenal remain in the market, but nothing close as things stand. So that's according to David Onstein. And according to Fabrizio Romano, um, Nicolas Pepe has reduced his salary in order to make Nice move possible. French club will cover main part of his wages. Green light arrived and documents ready with Arsenal. Medical tests will take place in the next 24 hours on Thursday. So I think it's fair to say that Nicolas Pepe is um, he's not going to be an Arsenal player this season. First question for you guys. Are you happy that it's a loan deal and he will come back next year? Or do you would you have preferred for him to be sold? Forget about Pepe and let's move on from him. Or are you just happy with the loan deal? But according to both David Onstein and um, Fabrizio Romano, um, it's a season-long loan for the 27-year-old. As I've been saying, this should kind of be his prime. Like 27, it should be his prime. He should be firing in goals and assists for us right now. But unfortunately, it just hasn't worked out. It's going to be very, very, very interesting to see how he does over in France once again. When he was playing for Lille, he was scoring goal after goal after goal. That's done when we signed him he was really enjoying himself but as you can see according to Fabrizio Romano he's literally had to take a wage cut for him to go back there so let's see how um it does over in France I will be doing a story on Nicolas Pepe very soon so watch out for that one it, it has been a disaster let's be honest it doesn't hasn't worked out how we expected unfortunately um obviously we signed him then I, I, we obviously brought in the likes of Sabayas the very next season. Not that they were playing in the same position, but we kind of focused on that. Aubameyang started playing on the wing. Um, obviously, Saka emerged from um, the academy. So all those things are to put together. All of them affected Nicolas Pepe, but we'll go deeper uh, on that video. So that is Nicolas Pepe. What about Ainsley Maitland-Niles? Um, according to reports, Southampton are pushing to sign Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Talks now in progress with Arsenal on loan with buy option has current Arsenal deal also included an option to extend until 2024. So as you can see with Ainsley Maitland-Niles, his, um, his contract has um, a buy option, but with Nicolas Pepe, there's no buy option. He will definitely be coming back to Arsenal next season and then maybe stay or fall, uh, lose into another team. But uh, for Ainsley Maitland-Niles, it's looking like we are going to be letting him go on a loan deal and then with an option to buy next season. It's not only Southampton that want team. Um, teams like West Ham and Bournemouth want him as well. Uh, both all three teams have held talks with Arsenal over the signing of Ainsley Maitland-Niles. The players' preference would be to remain in London. So his preference would be to remain in London. That means West Ham. But uh, according to Fabrizio Romano, Southampton is the one that um, are in advanced talks with him. So either team i think especially if he goes to like a southampton i think that would be great for him um west Ham. i'm not sure if he's going to be playing there that's the thing they still have players like rice and all those guys um in midfield which position really is is he going to be playing for any of those teams that's the other thing that has complicated ainsley metal nice time time at us no easier right back easier central midfielder easier defensive midfielder does he play in a back five does he play in the back four all those questions have still never been answered at arsenal so let's see how how he does in those teams if he ended up at southampton he potentially will start in midfield if he ended up at like a west ham he potentially would start maybe at um right back maybe bournemouth really hard to know maybe midfield as well but hey um both nate niles and pepe could be going or are going uh, uh leaving the club and after them let's hope we are going to get players in so according to david Onstein, um the, the the club remain in the market but nothing close as things stand so since pepe is going and niles is going are we going to um add our um the pressure on getting Neto to arsenal another winger to help suck on that side Neto is definitely an option the last report we had on Neto from david onstein is that arsenal's transfer priorities pedro Neto discussions for over a month uh, with george mendez's agent um the Wolves have no plan to sell the 22-year-old, but Arsenal uh, and Arsenal can't spend excessively. But interest is concrete. So, could this be the guy to replace Nicolas Pepe? And could we bring in Yuri Tillemans to be the guy that um, covers our midfield now that Ainsley Maitland-Niles is about to leave us? 
well, all that and more, we will be talking about that um, later on. But all the best to Pepe, all the best to Niles. We will be talking more about them, obviously, in live streams and everything. Let me know how you guys feel about this. Catch up with you guys on the next one.